Hi, I'm Casey. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to go over what's in the Allure fragrance box. So one thing I like about being subscribed to Allure, um, which has just recently went up to $23 a month, um, but I had locked it in at the lower price, so it ends up being about $14 a month. Um, but one of the great things is they come out every now and then with extra boxes that you could buy. Um, they had the maybe best of 2020 um, not too long ago. And then I had just gotten an email about this fragrance box that was $30 with free shipping. Um, Non-members could get it for $50. Um, and it was supposed to have about $215 worth of value to it. Um, I am not a huge perfume wearer, um, but I felt like that was a great deal. And it came with seven products. One of the products has another eight um, small perfume samples in it. Um, and one thing was supposed to be full sized. So because Christmas is coming up, I thought it would be nice to put into um, people's Christmas presents. Um, so that's what I did. The, well, I guess what, let's just start. Um, the first thing up is a Victor and Ralph Flower Bomb Midnight. Um, I guess I had that upside down. I forgot I had opened it from the bottom. I opened the bottle so it would go a little faster. It's kind of a cute little bottle in black. Um, it says that it is black currant and jasmine. This is usually $115 for the 50 ml. Um, so this was 7 ml, so that'd be about $16.10 is what I had come up with. Um, it unscrews and unscrews. Maybe I'm going the wrong way. It took me actually a while to get this off. And again, since I don't really love perfumes, you know what? It just snapped on. Maybe that's why it took so long for me to unscrew it. Um, <laughs> yeah, totally just popped on and off. Ignore that other thing that I was saying, but I do think it smells good. So I'm not going to be at all, you know, embarrassed to give this to somebody in their Christmas present because it smells nice and you know $16 for the little bitty thing is still a nice thing so on the website it's um fragrance flam family says florals but it's a warm floral with the black currant night blooming jasmine and musk it says this woman's fragrance unleashes a new sensuality without losing any of its timeless appeal it is a sparkling and mysterious women's perfume that artfully mingles jasmine and black currant with peony, vanilla, and musk. So, that seems fun. Um, next up was this Rebecca Minhoff. Um, this little sample would be approximately $8.57. So, it... Um, is about four mls and usually they'd be about 14 for 30 dollars and this one says bergamot and cardamom for the scent notes so this one says um feminine accents of jasmine and coriander in combination with modernized tobacco accord to deliver sensuality warmth and a magnetic aura and it's in 100% recyclable glass. And it comes in several different sizes, 30 mLs for $55, 100 mLs for $95, 14 mLs for $30. So again, that's kind of fun. Next was this Maya Base Perfume Oil Roller Bowl. It has sweet sandalwood, 
and warm musk. It says that you can use this alone or added onto other fragrances. This would be about a $36 value because it usually comes twice this big, 10 mLs for $72. This one's only 5 ml. So that's quite a good little sample size. So this one says, wear Maya base alone as a clean yet sexy daytime fragrance or as a base for layering other scents. Maya base will blend with your unique body chemistry and environmental element elements to develop a scent that is truly your own. So again, fun. And next was the Riddle roll-on. Looks like this. And this. And this one is an 8 ml. And from what I could see actually online, this is what they would consider a full size also. And it would be um, $50 for this little size. And it said, clean and subtle with scent notes of amber and musk. It's cruelty-free, vegan, non-toxic, hypoallergenic. Um, just roll on to your pulse points or just your wrists and gently dab the product in your skin. Your fragrance oil will come in an 8 ml glass bottle with a stainless steel roller ball applicator. So that's the full size for $50. And again, the whole Allure fragrance box was $30. Okay, next up is the Lake and Sky 1111 body oil. It says that it is musky and white amber. Maybe part of the reason I'm not real fond of most perfumes it has almost every one of these said something about me in musky. I think that, yeah, I'd rather smell like cotton candy. <laughs> anyway, um, this one is about a $4.80 sample size. It is um, $48 for a 3.4 ounces. And this one says, a hydrating all over body oil in our signature 1111 scent, rich in essential fatty acids and enriched with anti-inflammatory vitamin E, the body oil naturally nourishes and smooths, dies. we're gonna say that again. The body oil naturally nourishes and soothes dry skin. The ingredients also include sweet almond oil known to soften skin and restore protective barriers. The body oil has a subtle scent and is the perfect complement to the 1111 fragrance collection. A few drops, apply a few drops gently to skin day or night can be used alone or as part of a daily ritual of layering with the 1111 fragrance. So that was that one that I just kind of put on the floor for now. Um, okay, next up is the Flower Street set. This has eight 1.5 ml sizes. This one actually I plan to keep for myself. Um, I thought it would be fun to get to try, you know, eight of the little different scents and see if I, you know, liked any of them. Um, this one says it's inspired by the Flowers of London. And it includes bright Sicilian lemon, aromatic coffee, vegan floral perfumes, um, Florida orange brings zing to London poppy while salty marine notes add twist. Wonderland peony, light fruity floral, neon rose, wild vanilla orchid, iris goddess. So 
Sublime Woody Black Lotus Yiling Yiling Espresso. So that's kind of fun. Oh, these also normally um, I sell that you could get them just like at Sephora for $19 for this little set. And it is also vegan and cruelty free if I had mentioned or didn't mention that. And the last thing is um, what they had considered the full size, although like I had mentioned, there were others that were full size or darn close anyway, is um, Tahara. Um, maybe you guys are more familiar with this brand than I am. I do think I had a dress once that was that brand though. Um, so it's E-L-I-E. T-A-H-A-R-I, so I'll probably have added that to this screen since I don't actually know what it is. Um, and it is the one ounce size that would um, retail for $68. And let's see what the internet had to say about it. It says, the scent was launched in 2019 and the fragrance was created by perfumers Nicole Mancini and Rodrigo Flores Rose. Um, it has Italian bergamot, violet leaf, pear, fig. It has base notes of musk, amber, and white woods, and it has heart notes of magnolia and tree, tea blossom. And again, I just feel like, you know, this retailing for $68 will be a nice gift to, you know, give someone. And yeah, that was the last product. So again, I think I just wanted to say that I, I've been happy with my Allure um, beauty boxes. I think, was it maybe October's that I thought, you know, could have had some room for improvement, but that was just because it had that powdered vitamin C that I am really not into. Um, I know vitamin C is unstable and powdered form would be great. I just think that giving it to most people and not saying exactly how much to mix with their um, serum or water is risky. But that's kind of how I feel about, you know, the microneedling. You can get great results doing those things. It's just that I think put into the wrong hands, you could also have some bad results. So those are just the reasons that I hadn't liked that month, but um, I've liked the months after. And um, the December spoilers looked good. And I really like um, that they offer these other boxes every now and then that you can get where, you know, if you were just buying the Allure subscription box from Amazon, um, you don't get to have those extra little perks like getting these boxes at a discounted price. So I'm good with having my Allure. And um, yeah, I guess... Drop your questions below and um, I'll look forward to reading any comments that you have and like and subscribe if you want to see more of me getting fun things in my mail. Okay, thanks so much. Bye.